In mathematics, an action of a group is a formal way of interpreting the manner in which the elements of the group correspond to transformations of some space in a way that preserves the structure of that space. Common examples of spaces that groups act on are sets, vector spaces, and topological spaces. Actions of groups on vector spaces are called representations of the group. When there is a natural correspondence between the set of group elements and the set of space transformations, a group can be interpreted as acting on the space in a canonical way. For example, the symmetric group of a finite set consists of all bijective transformations of that set, thus, applying any element of the permutation group to an element of the set will produce another not necessarily distinct element of the set. More generally, symmetry groups such as the homeomorphism group of a topological space or the general linear group of a vector space, as well as their subgroups, also admit canonical actions. For other groups, an interpretation of the group in terms of an action may have to be specified, either because the group does not act canonically on any space or because the canonical action is not the action of interest. For example, we can specify an action of the two-element cyclic group C 2 equals 0 1 Display style mathrm c underscore two equals zero one on the finite set a b c display style a b c by specifying that zero the identity element sends a a b b c c Display style mapsto a b mapsto b c mapsto c, and that one sends a b b a c c display style mapsto b b mapsto a c mapsto c. This action is not canonical. A common way of specifying non-canonical actions is to describe a homomorphism phi display style phi from a group G to the group of symmetries of a set X. The action of an element G element of G display style G in G on a point X element of X Display style x in x is assumed to be identical to the action of its image phi g element of sim x display style var phi g in text sim x on the point x display style x the homomorphism phi Display style phi is also frequently called the action of G since specifying phi display style phi is equivalent to specifying an action. Thus, if G is a group and X is a set, then an action of G on X may be formally defined as a group homomorphism phi display style phi from G to the symmetric group of X the action assigns a permutation of X to each element of the group in such a way that the identity element of G is assigned the identity transformation of X any product G K of two elements of G is assigned the composition of the permutations assigned to G and K, if X has additional structure, then phi is only called an action if for each g element of g display style g in g the permutation phi g display style var phi g preserves the structure of x the abstraction provided by group actions is a powerful one, because it allows geometrical ideas to be applied to more abstract objects. Many objects in mathematics have natural group actions defined on them. 
In particular, groups can act on other groups, or even on themselves. Because of this generality, the theory of group actions contains wide-reaching theorems, such as the orbit stabilizer theorem, which can be used to prove deep results in several fields. Definition Left group action If G is a group and X is a set, then a left group action phi of G on X is a function phi G times X X G X phi G X Display style varphi colon g times x to x colon g x mapsto varphi g x that satisfies the following two axioms, where we denote phi g x as g x identity e x equals x for all x in x. Here e denotes the identity element of the group g. Compatibility. G H X equals G H X for all G H in G and all X in X. Here G H denotes the result of applying the group operation of G to the elements G and H. The group G is said to act on X on the left. The set X is called a left G set. From these two axioms, it follows that for every G in G, the function which maps X in X to G X is a bijective map from X to X its inverse being the function which maps X to G minus 1 X. Therefore, one may alternatively define a group action of G on X as a group homomorphism from G into the symmetric group sim X of all bijections from X to X. Topic: Right group action. In complete analogy, one can define a right group action of G on X as an operation X times G X mapping X G to X G and satisfying the two axioms: identity X E equals X for all X in X, compatibility X G H. topic xg h for all g h in g and all x in x the difference between left and right actions is in the order in which a product like gh acts on x for a left action h acts first and is followed by g while for a right action g acts first and is followed by h because of the formula gh -1 H minus one gram minus one. One can construct a left action from a right action by composing with the inverse operation of the group. Also, a right action of a group G on X is the same thing as a left action of its opposite group GOP on X. It is thus sufficient to only consider left actions without any loss of generality. Topic: <laughs> Types of actions. The action of G on X is called transitive if X is non-empty and if for each pair X, Y in X there exists a G in G such that G X equals Y. For example, the action of the symmetric group of X is transitive, the action of the general linear group or the special linear group of a vector space V on V is transitive, but the action of the orthogonal group of a Euclidean space E is not transitive on E it is transitive on the unit sphere of E, though faithful or effective if for every two distinct g h in g there exists an x in x such that gx does not equal hx or equivalently if for each g does not equal e in g there exists an x in x such that gx does not equal x in other words in a faithful group action different elements of g induce different permutations of x in algebraic terms a group g acts faithfully on x if and only if the corresponding homomorphism to the symmetric group g sim x has a trivial kernel 
Thus, for a faithful action, G embeds into a permutation group on X, specifically, G is isomorphic to its image in Sim X. If G does not act faithfully on X, one can easily modify the group to obtain a faithful action. If we define N topic G in G, G X X for all X in X, then N is a normal subgroup of G, indeed, it is the kernel of the homomorphism G sim X. The factor group G, N acts faithfully on X by setting G N X. G X. The original action of G on X is faithful if and only if N E free or semiregular or fixed point free if, given G, H in G, the existence of an X in X with G X. H X implies G H. Equivalently, if G is a group element and there exists an X in X with G X equals X that is, if G has at least one fixed point, then G is the identity. Note that a free action on a non-empty set is faithful. Regular or simply transitive or sharply transitive if it is both transitive and free, this is equivalent to saying that for every two x, y in x there exists precisely one gram in G such that Gx equals y. In this case, x is called a principal homogeneous space for G or a G torsor. The action of any group G on itself by left multiplication is regular, and thus faithful as well. Every group can, therefore, be embedded in the symmetric group on its own elements, sim G. This result is known as Cayley's theorem. N-transitive if X has at least N elements and for all pairwise distinct X1 Xn and pairwise distinct Y1 and there is a G in G such that Gxk equals Yk for 1kn. A two-transitive action is also called doubly transitive, a three-transitive action is also called triply transitive, and so on. Such actions define interesting classes of subgroups in the symmetric groups, two-transitive groups and more generally multiply transitive groups. The action of the symmetric group on a set with n elements is always n-transitive, the action of the alternating group is n-2-transitive sharply n-transitive if there is exactly one such g. Primitive if it is transitive and preserves no non-trivial partition of xc primitive permutation group for details. Locally free if g is a topological group, and there is a neighborhood u of e in g such that the restriction of the action to u is free, that is, if gx x for some x and some g in u then g e furthermore if g display style g acts on a topological space x display style x then the action is wandering if every point x element of x Display style x in x has a neighborhood u. Display style u such that g element of g g u u does not equal display style g in g g c d o t u cap u n e q empty set is finite. For example, the action of Z N display style math b Z caret N on R N display style math b R caret N by translations is wandering. The action of the modular group on the Poincaré half plane is also wandering. Properly discontinuous if X display style x 
is a locally compact space and for every compact subset k x display style k subset x the set g element of g g k k does not equal display style g in g g k cap k neq empty set is finite the wandering actions given above are also properly discontinuous on the other hand the action of z display style math b z on r 2 0 display style math b r caret 2 set minus 0 by the linear map x y 2 x 1 2 y display style x y mapsto 2 x 1 half y is wandering and free but not properly discontinuous proper if g display style g is a topological group and the map from g times x x times x g x g x x display style g times x right arrow x times x sad face g x mapsto g c d o t x x is proper if g is discrete then properness is equivalent to proper discontinuity for g actions said to have discrete orbits if the orbit of each x element of x display style x in x under the action of g display style g is discrete in x display style x if x is a non-zero module over a ring r and the action of g is r linear then it is said to be irreducible if there is no non-zero proper invariant submodule topic orbits and stabilizers consider a group g acting on a set x the orbit of an element x in x is the set of elements in x to which x can be moved by the elements of g the orbit of x is denoted by gx g x equals g x g element of g display style g c d o t x equals left g c d o t x mid g in g right the defining properties of a group guarantee that the set of orbits of points x in x under the action of g form a partition of x the associated equivalence relation is defined by saying x y if and only if there exists a g in g with g x topic y the orbits are then the equivalence classes under this relation two elements x and y are equivalent if and only if their orbits are the same i.e. gx gy the group action is transitive if and only if it has exactly one orbit i.e. if there exists x in x with gx topic x this is the case if and only if gx x for all x in x the set of all orbits of x under the action of g is written as x g or less frequently g x and is called the quotient of the action in geometric situations it may be called the orbit space, while in algebraic situations it may be called the space of coinvariants, and written xg, by contrast with the invariants fixed points, denoted xg, the coinvariants are a quotient while the invariants are a subset. 
The coinvariant terminology and notation are used particularly in group cohomology and group homology, which use the same superscript subscript convention. Topic: <laughs> Invariant subsets. If y is a subset of x, we write gy for the set gy, y element of y and g element of g. We call the subset y invariant under g if g y. Topic y, which is equivalent to g y y. In that case, g also operates on y by restricting the action to y. The subset y is called fixed under g if g y. Y for all G in G and all Y in Y. Every subset that is fixed under G is also invariant under G, but not vice versa. Every orbit is an invariant subset of X on which G acts transitively. The action of G on X is transitive if and only if all elements are equivalent, meaning that there is only one orbit. A G invariant element of X is X element of X such that G X equals x for all g in g the set of all such x is denoted xg and called the g invariance of x when x is a g module xg is the zeroth group cohomology group of g with coefficients in x and the higher cohomology groups are the derived functors of the functor of g invariance equals <laughs> topic <laughs> fixed points and stabilizer subgroups topic given g in g and x in x with gx x we say x is a fixed point of g and g fixes x for every x in x we define the stabilizer subgroup of g with respect to x also called the isotropy group or little group as the set of all elements in g that fix x g x equals G element of G G X equals X display style G underscore X equals G in G mid G C D O T X equals X. This is a subgroup of G, though typically not a normal one. The action of G on X is free if and only if all stabilizers are trivial. The kernel n of the homomorphism with the symmetric group G sim x is given by the intersection of the stabilizers G x for all x in x. If n is trivial, the action is said to be faithful or effective. Let x and y be two elements in x, and let G be a group element such that y. Topic G x. Then the two stabilizer groups Gx and Gy are related by Gy. Ggx G1. Proof, by definition, H element of Gy if and only if H Gx. Topic Gx. Applying G minus one to both sides of this equality yields G minus one hectogram X X, that is, G minus one hectogram element of G X. An opposite inclusion follows similarly by taking H element of G X and supposing X equals G minus one Y. The above says that the stabilizers of elements in the same orbit are conjugate to each other. Thus, to each orbit, one can associate a conjugacy class of a subgroup of G i.e., the set of all conjugates of the subgroup. Let H denote the conjugacy class of H then one says that the orbit O has type H if the stabilizer G X display style G underscore X of some any X in O belongs to H display style H 
A maximal orbit type is often called a principal orbit type. Topic: <laughs> Orbit stabilizer theorem and Burnside's lemma. Orbits and stabilizers are closely related. For a fixed x element of x display style x in x consider the map g x display style g to x given by g g x display style g mapsto g c d o t x this map induces a bijection from the set g g x display style g g underscore x of cosets of g x display style g underscore x in g display style g to the orbit g x display style g c d o t x as the translate g x display style g c d o t x depends only on the left cosy g g x display style g g underscore x this result is known as the orbit stabilizer theorem if g display style g is finite then the orbit stabilizer theorem together with lagrange's theorem gives g x equals g g x equals g g x display style g c d o t x equals g g underscore x equals g g underscore x this result is especially useful since it can be employed for counting arguments typically in situations where x display style x is finite as well example one can use the orbit stabilizer theorem to count the automorphisms of a graph Consider the cubical graph as pictured, and let g display style g denote its automorphism group. Then g display style g acts on the set of vertices one, two, eight display style one, two l dots eight and this action is transitive as can be seen by composing rotations about the center of the cube. Thus, by the orbit stabilizer theorem, we have that g equals g 1 g 1 equals 8 g 1 Display style G equals G C D O T one G underscore one equals eight G underscore one. Applying the theorem now to the stabilizer G one Display style G underscore one we obtain G one equals G one two G one two display style G underscore one equals G underscore one C D O T two G underscore one underscore two. Any element of G display style G that fixes one display style one must send two display style 2 to either 2 display style 2 4 display style 4 or 5 display style 5 there are such automorphisms consider for example the map that transposes 2 
Display style two and four Display style four transposes six Display style six and eight Display style eight and fixes the other vertices. Thus G one two equals three Display style left G underscore one C D O T two right equals three. Applying the theorem a third time gives G one two equals G one two three G one two three Display style G underscore one underscore two equals G underscore one underscore two C D O T three G underscore one underscore two underscore three. Any element of G Display style G that fixes one Display style one and two Display style two must send three display style three to either three display style three or six display style six and one easily finds such automorphisms. Thus G one two three equals two Display style left G underscore one underscore two C D O T three right equals two. One also sees that G one two three Display style G underscore one underscore two underscore three consists only of the identity automorphism, as any element of G Display style G fixing one Display style one two Display style two and three Display style three must also fix four Display style four and consequently all other vertices. Combining the preceding calculations, we now obtain G equals eight three two one equals forty eight Display style G equals eight C D O T three C D O T two C D O T one equals forty eight. A result closely related to the orbit stabilizer theorem is Burnside's lemma X G equals one G G element of G X G Display style left x g right equals frac one left g right sum underscore g in g left x carrot g right where x g Display style x carrot g. The set of points fixed by g. Display style g. This result is mainly of use when g. Display style g. And x. Display style x. A finite when it can be interpreted as follows: the number of orbits is equal to the average number of points fixed per group element. Fixing a group G display style G the set of formal differences of finite G display style G sets forms a ring called the Burnside ring of G display style G where addition corresponds to disjoint union and multiplication to Cartesian product.
Topic Examples The trivial action of any group G on any set X is defined by G X equals X for all G in G and all X in X, that is, every group element induces the identity permutation on X. In every group G, left multiplication is an action of G on G, G X equals G X for all G, X in G. This action forms the basis of a rapid proof of Cayley's theorem, that every group is isomorphic to a subgroup of the symmetric group of permutations of the set G. In every group G with subgroup H, left multiplication is an action of G on the set of cosets G, H, G R equals Ga for all G, A in G in particular if H contains no nontrivial normal subgroups of G this induces an isomorphism from G to a subgroup of the permutation group of degree G, H. In every group G, conjugation is an action of G on G, G X. topic gx g minus 1 an exponential notation is commonly used for the right action variant xg g minus 1 xg it satisfies xg h equals xgh in every group G with subgroup H, conjugation is an action of G on conjugates of H, G K equals G K G minus 1 for all G in G and K conjugates of H. The symmetric group S n and its subgroups act on the set 1, n by permuting its elements. The symmetry group of a polyhedron acts on the set of vertices of that polyhedron. It also acts on the set of faces or the set of edges of the polyhedron. The symmetry group of any geometrical object acts on the set of points of that object. The automorphism group of a vector space or graph or group or ring acts on the vector space or set of vertices of the graph or group or ring. The general linear group GL NK and its subgroups, particularly its Lie subgroups, including the special linear group SL NK, orthogonal group O NK, special orthogonal group SO NK, and symplectic group SP NK, are Lie groups that act on the vector space knots. The group operations are given by multiplying the matrices from the groups with the vectors from knots. The general linear group GL N, Z, acts on zinc by natural matrix action. The orbits of its action are classified by the greatest common divisor of coordinates of the vector in zinc. The affine group acts transitively on the points of an affine space, and the subgroup V of the affine group, i.e., a vector space, transitive and free, i.e., regular action on these points. Indeed, this can be used to give a definition of an affine space. The projective linear group PGL n plus 1, K, and its subgroups, particularly its Lie subgroups, which are Lie groups that act on the projective space Pn K. This is a quotient of the action of the general linear group on projective space. Particularly notable is PGL 2, K, the symmetries of the projective line, which is sharply 3 transitive, preserving the cross ratio. The Mobius group PGL 2, C is of particular interest. The isometries of the plane act on the set of 2D images and patterns, such as wallpaper patterns. The definition can be made more precise by specifying what is meant by image or pattern, e.g., a function of position with values in a set of colors. Isometries are in fact one example of affine group action. The sets acted on by a group G comprise the category of G sets in which the objects are G sets and the morphisms are G set homomorphisms, functions f, x, y such that G f x equals f G x for every G in G. The Galois group of a field extension L, K acts on the field L but has only a trivial action on elements of the subfield K. Subgroups of Gal L, K correspond to subfields of L that contain K, i.e., intermediate field extensions between L and K. The additive group of the real numbers R, plus acts on the phase space of well-behaved 
systems in classical mechanics and in more general dynamical systems by time translation if t is in r and x is in the phase space then x describes a state of the system and t plus x is defined to be the state of the system t seconds later if t is positive or minus t seconds ago if t is negative the additive group of the real numbers R plus acts on the set of real functions of a real variable in various ways, with T f x equal to, e.g., f x plus t, f x plus t, f x at f x a f x plus t a, or f x at plus t, but not f x at plus t. Given a group action of G on X, we can define an induced action of G on the power set of X, by setting G U equals G U, U element of U for every subset U of X and every G in G. This is useful, for instance, in studying the action of the large Mathieu group on a 24 set and in studying symmetry in certain models of finite geometries. The quaternions with norm 1 the verses, as a multiplicative group, act on R3, for any such quaternion Z. Cos α, 2 plus V sin α, 2, the mapping F x Zxz is a counterclockwise rotation through an angle α about an axis given by a unit vector v, z is the same rotation, see quaternions and spatial rotation. <laughs> group actions and groupoids The notion of group action can be put in a broader context by using the action groupoid, G equals G x display style script style G equals G L times x associated to the group action, thus allowing techniques from groupoid theory such as presentations and vibrations. Further, the stabilizers of the action are the vertex groups, and the orbits of the action are the components of the action groupoid. For more details, see the book Topology and Groupoids referenced below. This action groupoid comes with a morphism P G G display style script style P G right arrow G, which is a covering morphism of groupoids. This allows a relation between such morphisms and covering maps in topology. topic morphisms and isomorphisms between g sets if x and y are two g sets we define a morphism from x to y to be a function f x y such that f g x equals g f x for all g in g and all x in x morphisms of g sets are also called equivariant maps or g maps the composition of two morphisms is again a morphism if a morphism f is bijective, then its inverse is also a morphism, and we call f an isomorphism and the two G sets x and y are called isomorphic, for all practical purposes, they are indistinguishable in this case. Some example isomorphisms Every regular G action is isomorphic to the action of G on G given by left multiplication. Every free G action is isomorphic to G times S, where S is some set and G acts on G times S by left multiplication on the first coordinate. S can be taken to be the set of orbits X, G. Every transitive G action is isomorphic to left multiplication by G on the set of left cosets of some subgroup H of G. H can be taken to be the stabilizer group of any element of the original G set. The original action, with this notion of morphism, the collection of all G sets forms a category. This category is a Grothendieck topos. In fact, assuming a classical metalogic, this topos will even be Boolean. Topic: Continuous group actions. 
One often considers continuous group actions, the group G is a topological group, X is a topological space, and the map G times X X is continuous with respect to the product topology of G times X. The space X is also called a G space in this case. This is indeed a generalization, since every group can be considered a topological group by using the discrete topology. All the concepts introduced above still work in this context, however we define morphisms between G spaces to be continuous maps compatible with the action of G. The quotient X, G inherits the quotient topology from X, and is called the quotient space of the action. The above statements about isomorphisms for regular, free and transitive actions are no longer valid for continuous group actions. If X is a regular covering space of another topological space Y, then the action of the DEC transformation group on X is properly discontinuous as well as being free. Every free, properly discontinuous action of a group G on a path connected topological space X arises in this manner. The quotient map XX, G is a regular covering map, and the DEC transformation group is the given action of G on X. Furthermore, if X is simply connected, the fundamental group of X, G will be isomorphic to G. These results have been generalized in the book Topology and Groupoids referenced below to obtain the fundamental groupoid of the orbit space of a discontinuous action of a discrete group on a Hausdorff space, as, under reasonable local conditions, the orbit groupoid of the fundamental groupoid of the space. This allows calculations such as the fundamental group of the symmetric square of a space X, namely the orbit space of the product of X with itself under the twist action of the cyclic group of order 2 sending X, y, to y, X. An action of a group G on a locally compact space X is co-compact if there exists a compact subset A of X such that ga equals X for a properly discontinuous action. Co-compactness is equivalent to compactness of the quotient space X, G. The action of G on X is said to be proper if the mapping G times X X times X that sends G, X, G X, X is a proper map. Strongly continuous group action and smooth points A group action of a topological group G on a topological space X is said to be strongly continuous if for all X in X, the map G G X is continuous with respect to the respective topologies. Such an action induces an action on the space of continuous functions on X by defining G F X equals f g minus 1 x for every g in g f a continuous function on x and x in x note that while every continuous group action is strongly continuous the converse is not in general true the subspace of smooth points for the action is the subspace of x of points x such that g g x is smooth i e it is continuous and all derivatives are continuous equals Topic: Variants and generalizations. Equals. One can also consider actions of monoids on sets by using the same two axioms as above. This does not define bijective maps and equivalence relations, however. See semigroup action. Instead of actions on sets, one can define actions of groups and monoids on objects of an arbitrary category, start with an object X of some category, and then define an action on X as a monoid homomorphism into the monoid of endomorphisms of X. If X has an underlying set, then all definitions and facts stated above can be carried over. For example, if we take the category of vector spaces, we obtain group representations in this fashion. One can view a group G as a category with a single object in which every morphism is invertible. A left group action is then nothing but a covariant functor from G to the category of sets, and a group representation is a functor from G to the category of vector spaces. A morphism between G sets is then a natural transformation between the group action functors. In analogy, an action of a groupoid is a functor from the groupoid to the category of sets or to some other category. 
in addition to continuous actions of topological groups on topological spaces, one also often considers smooth actions of Lie groups on smooth manifolds, regular actions of algebraic groups on algebraic varieties, and actions of group schemes on schemes. All of these are examples of group objects acting on objects of their respective category. See also Measurable group action Gain graph Group with operators Monoid action Notes <laughs>